Hey guys, welcome to Barrier the Terrible to the Twilight Terror featuring new Gengar from Scarlet Valley 151 with the Poltergeist attack doing 50x damage for each unicorn in your opponent's hand. It can also do Hollow Dive for 110 for 1 second and 1 colorless while putting 3 damage on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. So we're planning on using Hollow Dive to spread the damage with Raiden Alkazam before collecting knockout with Pain Burst using the other Gengar from Chilling Rain hitting 40x damage for each damage on your opponent's active Pokemon plus 10 base for 3 colorless. To satisfy the attack cost, we're playing 2 Reversal, 1 Double Turbo, and 2 Raihans. We also have 2 Ventral Punch, and 1 Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star, to then instant knockout on opponent's active Pokemon, with Shimmering Star for only 1 Psychic, if it has exactly 4 damage counters on it. We're also playing Acerola and the new Haunter to help us do big damage with Poltergeist by looking at opponent's hand and putting a supporter card from the discard pile back into their hand using Haunter's Spirit Return ability each time we play this card from our hand to evolve one of our Pokemon. For the draw support, we're playing 3 Chorus, 2 Ayano, 1 Bruno, and 1 Schoolgirl with 4 Gift Energy. We also have our regular trainers for the setup, 1 Peonia to get any evolutions or reversals stuck in a prize, 4 Fog Crystal for the energy search, 2 Escape Rope for the switch, 1 Super Rod, 1 Boss, and 1 Manaphy for the bench barrier. So that's all for the decklist, now let's go for some gameplay and see how well this deck works. Another game with Twilight Terror. Going first. With Gasly. Gasly. Um, don't have the rare candy though. We got a heads for Haunter, I guess. But we need the other Gengar. Um, kind of want to play this. Not sure what I should be doing. Should we bench another one? This is bad. I don't actually know what to do. We should get a supporter though, at some point. Suffocating gas. Poison. That's like a poison move, isn't it? Because Ghastly... I don't think Ghastly is a poison type though. I think Gengar is poison ghost. But Ghastly is just a pure ghost, isn't it? I'm not sure actually. Is Ghastly Haunter poison types as well? Oh, they are though. They are. Because we have a dark type. Um, sorry. We have the black color cards. From Paradox Rift, for both Ghastly, Haunter, for, well, all three actually, all the evolution line for Ghastly, uh, Gengar, my bad. So we actually got our rare candy, we got all that we need, except we actually have to play the Ultra Ball to discard something, which is not great. Um, what do we discard? I really don't want to discard the tool card. But we can't discard the this thing either, the reversal, so I guess we'll have to deal with the tool card. Oh well. Oh my god, we're actually knocking out the Pidgey though. I think we should have just attached the tool card. That was stupid. That was quite stupid. We needed the tool card. Um, are we gonna give them the Ayano right now? I don't think so. Not right now, I don't think.
If we don't do it now, though, oh man, we're not drawing a lot of cards, are we? Should have just discarded the reversal. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just focus on this one. I forgot we're knocking out the Pidgey. I thought we had like damage counters in play to transfer with the Alakazam, but apparently not. Oopsies. No Charizard though. Oh man, just when I said it. Here comes the rare candy. Oh my god, they're gonna take out the Gengar with the Arcanine. They're actually gonna get a Pidgeot first. If they get the heads though, they may just do another rare candy. This is super scary as usual. Charizard Pidgeot. Um, way too easy to play. You don't really need much. So let's see if we can get the other Gengar. Because we actually need to evolve. Damn it. This is super annoying. Let's just get another Ghastly. Or maybe we should just bench the Alakazam right now. How about the Typhlosion, right? We gotta do the Typhlosion at some point. Oh man, we're giving them the Ayano though. I don't think we should. I feel like we should still, just because if we add supporter cards into their hand, basically they they put they're putting it back into their deck, and that means they would um, have a lot more trainers. They would have a higher chance of getting the trainers back, right? So now we just need a double turbo. I'm talking too much as usual, but I gotta. We got Ultra Ball for the next turn, and Bruno as well. So that's great. Let's just bench another one. We should do Alakazam on the next turn. Not right now, I don't think. So 4 damage counter, 2 damage counter. If we bench the Alakazam, we can knock out one. We can take out one with the V-Star and then take out the other with the um, the next Gengar. They actually gave us two strikes though. Two strikes with the first one, which is great. If we can play Bruno, everything's all set. Reversal is not going to work anymore, so we either need Raihan or the double turbo. And I don't think it's that easy to get a turbo. Um, because we're only playing one copy. So we better be getting Raihan somehow. <laughs> we should have just played the Ultra Ball. I forgot we need the Raihan. I think we should do like two double turbo and one reversal. Yikes, this is actually going to be really difficult. We may actually evolve into the, the other Gengar. Because they could do Ayano right now. If we evolve into the other Gengar, with the same Gengar. Um, oh wait, we need to take out the Arcanine first. But can we though? If we don't get the Turbo, we should be evolving to the same Gengar and then... Um, and then play uh, Poltergeist. I'm not sure how many trainer cards they have though in their hand. That's the problem. I guess. 
Oh, we can play Acerola to check. Let's see if we can get the Alakazam out. So many tails though, that's ridiculous. We actually need a lot of cards right now. We got a heads. So we're gonna get the... Oh man. I don't know what to get. 90... I don't think they have enough damage to kill the V- Oh they do though, 260 HP. Play the boss, they can take out our Typhlosion. Um, let's just do it anyways. So now we need the Alakazam. Let's play the Acerola and see what happens. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh my god, they got so many trainer cards in their hand. So many trainer cards. So you know what that means. We get to play Poltergeist. We just need one energy though. Another Tails for the last Ghastly. Um, I don't think we need the old the this the Orb anymore. We're just gonna discard the Orb and Ayano maybe. For this Gengar. Move the damage counters here. Moving right there. And Poltergeist, right? Let's bench this one first. We need... Um, we actually need to play this one though. Oh my god, this is going to be really, really tricky, actually. Ooh, this is going to be really hard. Do we play the Vengeful Punch? I don't think we need to for this game. Oh wait, we do though, because we're not placing damage counters right now. So, I don't think we need the cemetery anymore. We do need the energy. On Typhlosion. Oh boy, this is gonna be really hard. Oh boy, this is gonna be so hard. We don't have the gift energy though. Oh my god. They don't have a supporter card in the discard pile. Haha. <laughs> they didn't play a supporter on the last turn? That's ridiculous. Um, so we're gonna do Poltergeist for the knockout. I know I'm taking a long time, sorry guys, but... I got to, you know? I got to. We're drawing two prize this turn. We just need two more knockouts, which is actually a lot. We maybe should have played the Haunter later, but... We've played uh, enough of the same Gengar. We should be doing Pain Burst now. Pain Burst and Hollow Flames. Sorry, uh, Shimmering Star. Not Hollow Flames. We should use the effect of attack. No boss though. They should be targeting the um, Typhlosion, right? If they, do the ty if they knock out the Typhlosion, they get punished. And then we get to play our Pain Burst to knock out the Charizard anyways. Uh, but it would be really bad because we can't use the V-Star power anymore. Then we need another Pain Burst, right? Which would not be ideal. We got one boss though. If we can target something... We just need three more... Um, we just need... One EX knockout and a one prize KO, and then we win the game. How do we take out the last Pokemon? Is the question.
We can't play Reversal. I think the Vengeful Punch was a mistake. Oh man, we should have kept it later. Because now they have 8 damage counter, we can't play Shimmering Star. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh man. I don't know what I was thinking. Now we can't do Shimmering Star. We need exactly 4 damage counters, yo. How do we do it? Yikes, this is bad. We can't play Raihan. We can't do this, we can't do that. I'm not sure what to do. And we just got the Raihan. We got the Rod though. Hmm. Let's roll back one line. We can Raya Hunt at some point, I guess. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I did the Venture Punch wrong. So, we just need to do that, right? We actually get to kill the Charmander though. That's pretty crazy. So now we just need one EX Knockout. Um, We're gonna do the Gift on this one. So no matter what they knock out... I think it's game though, it's over, right? Because we just need to take out one EX. We can quite easily just play the Raihan to finish them off. If they take out the Typhlosion, we got Pain Burst. If they take out the Gengar, we got Free Search. Um, we can also play the Raihan because I don't think we have any more Psychic Energies. We actually need to play Raihan for Typhlosion. And then transfer the damage counter away. But they're probably gonna. They may just do the rated Charizard. And they play the Radiant Charizard, it's gonna be really difficult. We just need two damage counters, though, I think. Oh no, we need a lot more. I don't think two is enough. 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 110 damage. Okay, they're gonna take out the Typhlosion. Um, Radiant Charizard isn't enough to take out the Typhlosion. So that's the good thing. They took it out too late. So now they're getting punished. And here comes Pain Burst. We could have done the Shimmering Star if we didn't fuck up with the Vengeful Punch, but here he comes. Reversal doesn't work, unfortunately. Raihan. For whatever. And Reversal. For Pain Burst. 410 damage, look at that. 40x though, that's a lot. We didn't get to play the reversal because um, we were apparently a lot faster than our opponent. I think they searched for the wrong card with Pidgeot. Either way, we won against Charizard, so pretty happy about that. Yeah, Gengar! <laughs> Another game with Twilight Terror! Going first. Starting with a uh, ghastly. 
gas leak. The gas leak. Blastoise EX. Interesting. Um, I think we got three reversal now. Although I'm not sure. I really want the gift energy though. We're bound to get another energy with the Colrus, right? We're bound to get something with this card. We got another reversal. We need the rare candy though. So maybe we're gonna have to lose the Typhlosion? I don't know. What's gonna happen? We're lost in a rare candy. Um, this is bad. I don't know what to discard. I guess we're discarding the Thornton. And... The V-Star. We don't need a V-Star yet, so... We got a second V star, that's great. Right decision after all. And now we're gonna do Um the first attack. If we have the gift, it would be perfect, but they're just not gonna give us that. Oh well. Three damage counter on the routes. Uh, they could do Moonlight Shuriken though, at some point. So we need the Menifee. I think we should just kill off the Greninja with the boss. Just to be safe. Probably gonna bench another Blastoise, another Squirtle, not Blastoise. I don't think they got enough energies though. Even if they play Raihan, they need the sticker. Are they playing sticker? They played Clara, so no Blanche, no Raihan. And there we go, they pass the turn with Squirtle on the bench. Um, This is the scary part. I think we'll just do the boss. On this guy, right? I don't know. We need a goddamn supporter card. Why are we not getting a supporter card, yo? We got so many. Bruno. Ayano. Acerola Raihan. Come on. We didn't even get a goddamn Raihan. 
This is so frustrating, man. This game is impossible. We should have the gift energy right now. Oh, what if... Ugh. I think we should play energy lotto. I'm gonna stop playing the extra reversal. Might as well just do energy lotto. I can't with this game. I really can't with this game. Should have gotten the second rare candy. Should have lost to the Typhlosion and gotten the second rare candy. Didn't realize the Colrus was that important. The bloody ass Colrus. Um, I guess we'll have to get the Haunter. Nothing. Okay. Of course. Whatever. This game is impossible. Completely impossible. Should we just retreat? If we escape or retreat though, we could do poltergeist. I think we're gonna do that. Four hundred damage, yeah. Finally, a goddamn supporter card. Finally. 90 damage is not enough, so I think we're safe. That Palkia would have been really dangerous, though. So the escape route was actually the right move, for sure. Um, They got Bexcalibur. I don't think they need Bexcalibur. Blastoise, Palkia is good enough. Um... With the Greninja. I feel like if they do Raihan, be a lot more consistent. If they benched another Squirtle early and do the Raihan for the evolution, they would have gotten the knockout. Could have countered it pretty easily. The bags was the wrong move. You're not allowed to play two stage two cards. Unless it's a support. Um, with the Curlia as well, I mean, come on. So they're taking out the Haunter, that's fine. We got a Ghastly on the bench. We just need to take out the Greninja right now. Are we taking out the Curlia? I don't think so. I don't think we're taking out the Curlia yet. Let's see if we can get another Pokemon into our hand before playing our Bruno. We should really be benching the Menifee. Um, I think the Typhlosion is easy because they got backs, they can revive the Greninja quite easily. Um, we do need the Typhlosion though, right? Yikes, this is bad. Yikes, Zoids. We didn't bench the <laughs> Typhlosion. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. How did we not bench the Typhlosion?
And how do we not get another rare candy, yo? Ah, this game is so hard. If they play Ayano, we're done. No gift energy. Still no gift energy. I mean, I got no words. This game is impossible. If they do Ayano, let's hope we get like the Typhlosion, uh, sorry, the Thornton and the V-Star. We got the Mesagoza for the V-Star. Just need the Thornton. Oh, we haven't discarded it yet. We haven't discarded the basic. We can't play the Thornton. They're playing all the trainer cards though. Star Portal. If we can catch a Raihan, it will be over. If they got the boss, it's bad, it will be terrible, but let's hope we get the Thornton out later. We could have just finished off the Curlia though. Oh, we could have just evolved a second one and just finished off the Curlia. Where is the fun in that, right? We want to be doing Pain Burst or Shimmering Star with the Alakazam. Oh, we got the turbo. Are you kidding me? We got the goddamn turbo. Don't need the Raihan. Could have gotten Pain Burst this turn. Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Whoa, look at that. Look at the amount of draw. Um, let's bench the Typhlosion. I feel like we gotta attach an energy right now. No shit, right? We got the turbo. If they play Ayano, it would be really bad. Um. Wait, do they have a boss in their hand? I forgot to see. We actually... We actually saw what's in their hand though. That was quite silly. Let's just attach... I think they have Ayano or Boss. If they play Ayano, if they play Ayano we got the Gift Energy. If they play the Boss, we got a Double Turbo. So we should be fine, right? Um, yeah. I don't think we should be too worried. If we play Ayano and Escape Rope, that would be terrible. Denying them the bench type. We got all the right stuff. I think we should be okay. Let's do Shimmering Star. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I was about to do that. Oh well. Pain Burst is good just as well. We're doing a knockout anyways. With the other Gengar. Gotta play the Ultra Ball though. Ouchies. That hurt. The bloody gift energy. If it showed up early, we wouldn't be complaining so much. <laughs> so we're gonna play Ultra Ball. 
um, to discard. Does it matter what we discard? Iron candy for this one. We're gonna do the turbo because we got uh we don't need to play the Raihan. Because we actually got extra damage control from Alakazam. Let's just do it anyways. Let's get another Raihan, whatever. 310 damage. Bye bye, Palkia. Whew, we won against Blastoise EX. Pretty cool. With Gengar Typhlosion. Oh, that screenshot, yo. Gengar versus Palkia. <laughs> On to the next game with Twilight Terror! We got Gengar coin and the Gengar deck box. Uh, sorry, the Ghastly deck box and the Gengar sleeve. Look at that card sleeve, yo. It's the newest. Gengi boy. <laughs> it's giving us the thumbs up. Um, we were being quite pessimistic for this game. Not sure why. They're doing a one price though. So we gotta focus on placing damage counters, spreading as much as we can if they're doing a one price. We got Raiden Alakazam to basically give us um, that one extra price mid game or somewhere. Uh, you know, to give, cheat us the price win, right? If we get an extra price early, then we're basically a little bit faster than our opponent in terms of, uh, you know, getting all six price cards. And that actually helps us win the game. Against the Lost Box is not that easy because we're playing a stage 2 deck, but we still have uh, the Typhlosion to possibly knock out a Giratina V-Star or a Dragonite V or whatever. V cards, Aluminion they have on a the bench. So that's always a plus side. They are playing Palkia as well. So Palkia is going to give us two price if we can somehow play the boss at the right time. But if they choose to attack with it in the active spot, we don't need the boss. Right? Or if we can do the escape rope at the right time with, you know, only one, like, multiple V-cards on the bench that they plan on attacking with. I don't know, like, escape rope can sometimes give you the win. Like, don't underestimate that one item card. You can actually play escape rope to win the game a lot of times. That's why we have two copies for this, uh, for this list. We actually chose to play two escape rope instead of one escape rope and one switch, which is normally the way to go. Uh, just because we are placing damage counters, though. And if we can pull out a uh, a Pokemon with like 3 damage counter on it, we can actually play Shimmering Star. We can do a surprise knockout with our V-Star power by transferring one more damage counter onto their active using Raiden Alkazam's Painful Spoon ability. So that's how powerful Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star is. If you can play that one energy attack at the right time, it gives you that insta-kill for, for early to rest. And then on the next turn, you get to play Reversal. Right? That's the power of Typhlosion. You get to play Reversal for Pain Burst, giving you even more price cards on the next turn. If they... If you... Obviously, if they have, like, the same number of price cards remaining, then it doesn't work. Then you would need to play Raihan for the double turbo, but still... One energy for a knockout is pretty powerful. And if all else fails, if Reversal doesn't work, we got our... Uh, Poltergeist as well to fall back on. Poltergeist gives you 50x damage for each trainer card in your opponent's hand. If they are not, if they don't suspect it, you know, since we are playing Hollow Dive as the first, as our main combo, the main strategy is obviously Hollow Dive, Pain Burst, and Shimmering Star with Alkazam. They may not be expecting us to play the Poltergeist at any point. And if we do a surprise Poltergeist with our Haunter and the Acerola, it could actually give us that huge knockout some point in the game so that could be the uh, that could actually turn the tide for us and help us a lot in terms of the price draw uh if we get stuck at some point we can play poltergeist that's what i'm trying to say so anyways that's game it's over they didn't have a bench 
We got a lot of uh, Fog Crystal. I think that's the main advantage of a Psychic deck. It gives us that turbo setup to help us bench our Pokemons early in the game. And that means we get to evolve non-stop into the next Gengar and keep attacking without breaking the chain of attack. Without missing one turn not attacking. So that's very important. Setup is like key, the like the main foundation of this game. If you miss the first few turns not benching enough Pokemons, it's game over. Another game with Twilight Terror. Got Ghastly and Chorus. Finally getting a good supporter on the first turn. There's abundant energies. Energy in abundance. <sighs> Big Arrow. Arbok. Oh my god. It's a hand disruption deck. Are they doing Darkrai? I don't think so. Darkrai plays like um, Squawkabilly. So Biberal, Arbok. They could be playing full on control. Gotta be extra careful. Um, let's get a Typhlosion actually. Let's do one Typhlosion. They can do a knockout already. Oh my god, it's a dark type though. They do a boss, they can take out the Typhlosion with one hit. But then, you know what? We got the Thornton, so let's just do it anyways. It's a dark type. So annoying. If we can get the tool cart, we could actually finish it off with the... Uh, oh, we can't though. I don't think we can. We need another fog though. Don't we? We don't have the rare candy. Oh no, they're discarding at random. Oh my god, this is really bad. They're discarding cards from our hand at random, which is super, super bad. Um, we gotta attach the reversal, right? Let's hope they discard the mana fee, because we definitely don't need that. Mana fee and an energy, right? You just need one more energy, though, with the Arbog EX. Oh no! I wasn't expecting that. Ayano? No way. Grabber. Grabber with Arbok is the best. I wanted to do that, but... Mm, I don't know. They can quite easily just search back for it though. If you discard their items and put the Pokemon at the bottom, you're basically disrupting a lot, I guess. They are doing a Darkrai. Surprise, surprise. Okay, what are they discarding? Wait, aren't they discarding? They did Bind Down? They didn't do Menacing Fangs. Wait. Are we still forced to discard though? They didn't. They didn't do it. What? Okay, we got a heads. That's great. Um, we need this one for sure. Unfortunately, we can't play the other one. Uh, we got Serena though. What a waste. We need another Ghastly. I don't think we need the Vengeful Punch on the active. Pretty sure it's better for us to attach it on this thing. Or the Typhlosion. 
Let's just draw cards right now. I feel like we need to draw badly. Okay, we got the energy. Um, what do we attach the energy to is the problem. Is the question. Uh, let's do the turbo, right? We could have saved the Serena for the next turn, though. And then do Alakazam, but oh well. If we can get another rare candy, we should be fine. But I'm not sure if it's that easy. We do have Arvin though. Let's hope Chorus gets us the next rare candy. I don't think we put... I Oh, we... No, I don't think we put any rare candy at the bottom though. Did we? Pretty sure they did Ayano. Uh, we had two Gengar in our hand, but no rare candies. And then we had to play... And then, and then we got the rare candy, right? So now we're actually doing, we're drawing to, oh my god, we are forced to discard from our hand. We get to choose. Yikes. This is nasty. Very, very nasty. Um. Oh my god, I don't know what to discard. I don't think we need Ayano though. I feel like the chorus is going to help us more. We do have the Mesagoza. Thornton, yikes. False Potter cards. We got a heads. Gengar. Oh man, we wanted the Alakazam though. No V Star. Oh my god, we're gonna have to play. Oh man, we're gonna have to play the Peonia. Goddamn Peonia. We got the Rare Candy, which is great. Um. Gift energy as well, even better. So I think we need the... I don't think we need the Thornton though. So we got the rare candy evolution, the energy, we just need to discard Thornton and Haunter, right? Or another Ghastly. I think that should do the trick. Hopefully... For another Ghastly, but we need the Alakazam. Oh man, this is bad. Oh, we got the Vengeful Punch though. Oh man, we can't even bench our Pokemons. Are you kidding me? I think we discarded too many fog crystals. Did we lost them as well? Yeah, we lost the too many fog crystals. That was the big mistake. Oh well. Now we need a third rare candy. I don't think we're gonna get it. Honestly. Oh, we got the Typhlosion though. Oh man. We can't take out the Darkrai this turn. Because if they knock us out, um, they're playing a dark type. Of course, they're gonna do a knockout. Uh, they got dark patch. So if they knock us out, they get punished by four damage counters, and that means we need to transfer three, and we only got two damage counter transfer with the Alakazam. So we actually need another rare candy. No question. How do we do that? Oh, goddamn Ayano. Okay. 
Okay, we got rare candy. If we can play reversal, now is the right time. Raihan is not gonna work anymore. Uh, that's our only hope actually. If we don't get the reversal, it's over. Do they have a switch? Oh, they can search for items. <laughs> Broken ass Darkrai. Oh well. Oh, what? They're actually gonna attack with the second one. And that means we got enough... We got enough damage counters though. We can play the V-Star right now. Oh, we got Last Gift. Oh, we forgot about Last Gift. Oh, -ho! we could play Raihan for for rare candy, I guess. Um, now's the right time to play Raihan, though. Raihan for reversal. Oh no, we can't do reversal. We actually need another Raihan, which is ridiculous. I think Raihan is the right move here. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. This is scary. Okay, I'm gonna do it. We can search for the Haunter, I guess. We got so many supporter cards, like unnecessarily. Oh my god. This is so annoying. How do we take out the last one though? Oh my goodness, I don't know how to take out the last one. We need this other Gengar, I think. Do we play the Rare Candy right now? And the Raihan later? Because we actually got the... We can't though, can we? Wait, we can? Oh my god, I'm confused. I am so confused. Why don't we have the Haunter? Where did the Haunter go? Did we play the Rod? No? Okay, this is bad. I, I, I got no idea what I should be doing. Ah, uh, this is too hard. They got Moltres though. Moltres is gonna take us out. And then what are we gonna do? Wait, Moltres gets punished. Oh, we got the wrong Gengar, apparently. I think we got the wrong Gengar. Oh, this is hard. This is really, really hard. I think if we can play... We don't have enough though. Oh man. We need the reversal. If we don't get the wait, reversal's not gonna help though, is it? It is. If we get the reversal. Oh my god, we should have played Raihan for Peonia. Wait, we can't do that. Because we need the other Gengar. Oh my god, I made a mistake. It's too late. If we don't get the reversal... We're gonna get it, let's hope. I don't know where reversal is. Where do you guys think it is? I'm thinking 4-5 maybe? If we don't get the reversal, it's over. I don't know what to do. 
This is so scary. Oh my god. Oh man. We need the reversal, please. Uh oh, we got Peonia. If we get like Ultra Ball, we can do Peonia. We just need the Ultra Ball. We got four Ultra Balls. Didn't get a single one. Should have played the Raihan, yo. I don't know why I did the Arvin. Oh man. We got Peonia instead of Reversal. If they play Ayano right now, it's over. <laughs> oh man, they did Roxanne. What the fuck, yo? This game is not fair. Ah, uh, this bullshit fucking game is not fair. If we had another reversal, it would be game over. How unfair is this? We got the Peonia. If we have a rare candy in the prize, we may be able to save this. Nope. Like, can you imagine if that was a rare candy? And then we flip our heads with the... <laughs> oh, it's too late. Oh, it wouldn't... Wait, if we get if this is a rare candy, rare candy if we put the Gengar into the prize, we got rare candy and the energy. And then we can flip ahead for a Gengar. And then we win the game. We win the game with the bloody reversal. We got a Tails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck this game. Oh my god. As if it's not enough that they got the advantage, they had to play the bloody Roxanne at just the right moment just the right moment
Another game with Twilight Terror.
Oh no, I forgot about Vengeful Punch. Why are we not getting a supporter so many turns, yo? Stupid Thornton. We need four trainer cards in their hand though. Oh yay, we got four. What? Oh no, it's only three. No way. If they don't evolve though... Oh my god, this is so annoying. I thought we got four. We got the Mesogoza. This is not fair, yo.
Let's get basics. They got Greninja though. Wait, they played the V Star. They haven't played the V Star Power yet. Oh my god. We have no choice. We should get the energy out of the way, but then. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Why are we getting such a terrible hand? We need the boss though. I think we need the Ultra Ball. How many rare candies do we have? We got a lot of rare candies. Okay, that's great. Oh no, we should have gotten the Menifee. Oh my god. I don't actually know what to do right now. We're stuck with the Typhlosion in the active. Got another Bruno. Okay. I think we should have done the boss though. So many big mistakes. We got reversal. We can pressure them into taking out the ghastly by attaching the reversal. Hundred and ten though. Um can they take out the Typhlosion with the Palkia? I don't think so. Not in not in a single turn. They need two turns. Oh my god, this is so scary. Chen Pao. Two hundred damage. Do we have another venge? No more vengeful punch. Oh no. Yikes, this is bad. Um, okay, I don't know what to do now. 
Not actually sure what I should do now. We need the Menifee though. Oh no, we should have evolved the other Gengar. Oh no, this is bad. I think we needed the other one first. Because we got 110 damage, I forgot. That would have given us the win though. How do we get- oh my god, we, we discarded the Arvan! That would have given us the rare candy, yo. I don't know why I discard the Arvan. Oh my god. We just need the rare candy. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot, oh my god. I don't believe it. Wait, we can't do that though. We actually have to play Reversal right now, because Reversal doesn't work later. Reversal only works this turn. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think we can win this. We need the Raihan. And the Rare Candy. Oh man, we don't have the Rare Candy. It's over. It's over. What a... What a waste. If we had another Vengeful Punch... Oh well. Biggest waste... In the history of mankind. We can't move to the Greninja? This game is too hard, yo.
What? That was silly. Oh no. We still can't do it. We're stuck. We're actually stuck right now. We just need 20 damage though, I think. Reversal's not gonna work anymore. Oh, we should have gotten the energy. Oh my god. No planning. I don't think we got anything left in the deck. We just need the Raihan though, right? If they play Ayano, it's over. Because we don't have the gift energy in the active. We can't afford to attach it to the active. <laughs> maybe we should have just attached the... Oh, maybe we should not have retreated. Because then we get to play the Raihan to search for the rare candy. But then if we don't retreat though, we don't have enough damage. They can do a boss right now to take out the Alakazam. If they boss the wrong Pokemon, they lose. But if they boss the right one, they win. <laughs> Can you imagine if we get the Thornton right now? If we got the Thornton at the right time, and the V-Star, we could have knocked out the Chien Pao. With one Psychic Energy, one Psychic Energy. Why do they keep giving us Thornton at the wrong time? We keep getting Thornton on the first turn! On the very first turn, yo! How unfair is this game? On the very first bloody turn, Thornton, wow. There we go, it's over. Did they heal though? No, <laughs> thank god. If they play a switch card, then we don't have enough damage to knock it out. We need at least 5 damage counters. Oh my god, that was a close one. No boss. No recovery is over. No path. Because if they play path, they get to lock Alakazam's ability. They wasted one turn targeting the bench though. <laughs> That was a big mistake. They should not be playing Greninja. Like, I don't know what's happening. I think they're just wa wasting our time because they know we got the knockout condition. Two Raihans. Wow. I got double turbo as well. Nope, no turbo. I think we got it priced. Did we play it already? I think we played it already. We just need 5 though.
Yep. Double turbo in the discard pile. We won that because they got a sh bad start. Well, we got Thornton though in our, on the first turn, so that's not a great start either. And also, they made a mistake with the Greninja. Who cares? I don't give a fuck.